This video will explain how to change your withholding if your employer uses ADP for their payroll. ADP has an app or you can log in through the URL as well. This is where you should log in to view pay stubs, your W-2, adjust your W-4, or bank account information. After logging in, you're going to want to locate the pay section. After clicking pay, scroll down to the withholding section. After clicking withholding, ADP will ask for a verification code sent to a phone number or email address provided by you. This is just to keep your account secure. We are going to start by adjusting the federal withholding. ADP will walk through the W-4 form with you and at the end you will electronically sign. They will have you verify your personal information such as your address, filing status, exemption status, how many jobs you have, dependent information, and you can adjust this as needed. For this video, we are demonstrating how to withhold an additional amount for each pay period. As noted on the right-hand side of the screen, you may want to do this if you have other income that it has no tax withheld or if you'd like to get a refund at the end of the year. Next, you are able to view a summary of the information you provided. Now you will review and sign the document electronically. To do this, you'll type your full name and check the box. After this, it is complete. If you scroll down, you'll see the changes in the summarized box below the federal header. Now we will walk through changing the withholding for the state of Michigan. If you are employed in a different state, you can search for it here. If you live in a taxing city, you will select the city here. After this, make sure your personal information is correct and update it if needed. It will ask you if you are a new hire, if you are exempt from Michigan tax, and if you are claiming any exemptions. Now it will ask if you'd like an additional amount withheld from your paycheck. As mentioned on the right hand side, if you have too little withheld, you'll owe taxes, and if you have too much withheld, you'll get a refund after filing your tax return. After reviewing the information you submitted, you can electronically sign your document by typing your full name and checking the box. Now your Michigan W-4 is updated. To see the changes, scroll down and click the drop-down bar under Michigan. If you have any questions, contact your employer 